A few days ago, I went to meet a friend at the People's History Museum in Manchester and to see this excellent play. The nearest station is Salford Central, which is right next to the museum. However, this 2010 article in the local paper shows that the platform at Salford Central is too low, such that wheelchair ramp has to be dangerously steep. I was aware of some intended building improvement work at Salford Central, so I checked the National Rail Inquiry's webpage for the station, which says, Ramp for train access, yes. Step-free access coverage, yes. Step-free access note, ramped access to platforms and ticket office. And then I checked the Northern Rail website, because they run that station and the train, and the website says, Ramp for train access, yes. Step-free access, whole station. Step-free access note, ramped access to platforms and ticket office. Wasn't sure I trusted this, so I decided to ring to check and to book assistance. As Transpennine run the first leg between Leeds and Manchester, I rang their assistance line. Once I had got Transpennine to answer their phone, and once I had convinced them that the train I was booking actually exists, something that they have flat denied three times, I told them that I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to get off the train at Salford Central. He confirmed twice that there is wheelchair access at Salford Central, and told me to ring Northern if I'm still concerned. The assistance booking confirmation email came through. It states quite clearly that I had assistance booked to get off at Salford Central in my wheelchair using the ramp, and to get back on the return train. Then I phoned Northern. They confirmed that the station is accessible. Then I tweeted Northern, just to be trebly sure. Northern didn't respond to that. This left me unconfident that the journey would go okay, and that lack of confidence has worsened the following day when a check showed problems with the Transpennine element of the journey. I phoned up Transpennine, who told me that the disruption was cleared, so I went on my way, but everything fell apart. When I got on the train, I discovered that the wheelchair space hadn't been reserved for me, so it's a good job that it was available. Then halfway across to Manchester, the guard announced that the train would no longer be calling at Manchester Victoria, where I was due to change, but instead would call only at Manchester Piccadilly. I started to panic. I know that assistance had been booked for me at Victoria, not Piccadilly, and that it was likely that I would be left on the train without the assistance I needed to get off. I wanted to ask the guard, but the guard never made her way down the train. Not to check my ticket, neither to check if I was okay, even though I had booked assistance and she should have known of my presence and that I wanted to get off at Victoria. When we got into Piccadilly, sure enough, no assistance turned up. Everybody left, the doors shut, and I was left on the train on my own. I eventually managed to attract the attention of a dispatcher. who got the ramp and got me off. He then radioed the passenger assistants to take me across and put me on a train to Victoria. They took an age, and he had to radio through to chase them up several times before they appeared. By that point, I should have already have been at my destination, meeting my friend. The assistant staff eventually turned up and put ramps down for the Salford train. I started my camera recording. That really was very nice of him. It's not Rail Gourmet's job to get me off the train. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Yeah, just watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Uh, I understand the train is The question is, where are the assistant staff once again? I know that there'd been disruption, but still, they should have known that I was there and helped me across to get to Salford.
central. Uh, right, okay. I was supposed to be on an earlier train, but I got diverted. somewhat incoherent with pain and exhaustion and worry and frustration at this point. For train access, it says a step free access to the whole station. No, and, and they're the bloody white can't wear it. I know that, yeah, because it's like that. You're getting yeah. train, yeah, and you're, no. you're around to be nearly vertical. No, you can't, yeah. you can't do it. It's all right. I told them that, they, didn't, they just didn't believe me. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed, right. I appreciate it. That's alright, enjoy your visit. The taxi driver had absolutely no idea what to do with a wheelchair user. Be able to roll off. I suddenly realised that he was setting off without turning me around, restraining my wheelchair, or strapping me in. I had to pay the bill, of course. Uh, I arrived about an hour late, embarrassed at leaving my friend waiting for so long, frustrated, upset and exhausted. As soon as I arrived, instead of chatting to mates, I had to start working out what to do about getting home again. I phoned Northern Assisted Travel and after they eventually traced my booking, I attempted to explain that I had a return journey booked that involved me getting onto the train at Salford Central. But no matter how much their materials said otherwise, Salford Central was not possible in a wheelchair. I asked them to email me when they'd sorted something out, but I never received that email. Happily, my friend was able to offer me a lift back to Victoria after Northern failed me, after Northern left me stressed about it all evening. The question is, why does Northern Assisted Travel not know that the station is inaccessible? And why do websites say that the station is accessible? On checking, it turns out that as of last June, both the National Rail Inquiries and the Northern websites stated that there's no access. 
ramp for trade access no step free access note the height difference between trains and platforms is too great to safely use a wheelchair ramp at this station at some point between then and november that apposite and apt warning was removed the correct access information was replaced with incorrect words fail me Northern's Disabled People's Protection Policy says that their Travel Integration and Accessibility Manager is responsible for ensuring the database of station facilities is accurate. He's clearly not doing his job properly and I suffered as a result. The same document also says, if a station is inaccessible to you, we'll provide alternative transport at no extra cost. That's what they should have done, proactively planned and booked for me. And that's what their staff on the ground should have done when I was stuck. But they didn't, as always, so they'll be getting a legal letter from me. To cap it all, the taxi from Leeds home after midnight asked me to pick up in the middle of the road instead of at the taxi rank, didn't restrain my wheelchair, and then this. And then do you want to put the seatbelt on? Yeah. I'll push you. Wait, 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 I'll love you. Oh, it's a bit big, isn't it, yours? Yeah, it should fit just. It's a, can you can you? It's the reference size. Thank you. Uh, if you put your brakes on. Yeah, I'll do it. You put them on? Yeah. Right, I'm just going to do that. Do you know the back? Yeah. Oh, then we'll do that up so that'll secure you so you won't go nowhere. Is that okay? Lovely. Yeah. yeah. No, Are you okay there? Yes, thank you. Do you feel safe? Yes, thank you. Sure. Are you okay in that jeep? Yeah, thank you. Do you want a belt on or are you okay? If there is, yes, please. Um. There is, but I'm not 100% sure how it goes on though. Oh, okay, I'll leave it then. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. thank you. No, you are safe, you are secure. Oh, okay. Nobody. Yeah. It's a 13 mile, half hour, 30 pound drive, but I just couldn't face any more.